What's up, YouTube? Look at this. I woke up this morning number two on the leaderboards. They must have vanned all those IP booters out there, and now I got a shot to be number one. So I'm going to take it. I haven't really had my coffee yet, and I forget that prevent defense is so bad. I'm trying to win this one last game so I could win some packs, get number one on the leaderboards, and this guy's making it really tough on me. But luckily, he forgets to block a halfback here on fourth down, and combined with some sweet foster running, I get, you know, I managed to sneak a win out of this. It was pretty fun. I use Foster. I'll show you my whole team later. I'm not outcarding anybody. So, yeah, I also pull a ton of packs in this video for rewards for winning the seasons. So, check that out. Look at that. Number one, you guys. Thanks for subbing to me here on YouTube. If you haven't yet, make sure to sub. I'm the number one, <laughs> currently the number one player, at least at the time of this recording. IP booters haven't caught me yet. Uh, they'll catch, probably catch me by the end of the day. But if I'll make strategy videos all the time for all you guys out there. So, let me know what type of strategy video you want to see. Do you want to see a running play? Do you want to see passing? Do you want to see cover two, cover three? Because look at that. Nobody's even close with defense. Absolutely nobody's even close. Big shout out to Cody for helping me test uh, a defense all during early release. Uh, defense didn't work from Man 13, so we had to spend the whole weekend, and him and I just went at it. And look at my team. I'm not outcarding anybody. My best card is an Andre. He's the only one that's not a punter over 90 overall. So my team's pretty easily, you know, repeatable and re for all you guys out there. I will also have a budget series coming on the Evo channel with the most cost effective players, so you can build a very effective team pretty cheaply. But you know, I'm not I'm not out carding anybody. I don't have any legends. Manny Loss is probably my best card right now with his, you know, being a physical freak, winning games for me with his huge leaping interceptions. I probably should have lost a couple games, but I haven't. I haven't lost a single game that's not uh what do you call it, an IP boot. I'm showing you guys Barry, because I run a lot of three safety nickel packages and Barry is a machine. He's not a pass rushing chemistry, but I use him anyway because he's just so great. And here we go. I'm playing the Super Bowl, trying to get this one last pack for you guys. Secure my lead at number one. So then I play this guy. I forget what is this game? Yeah, V Wowzers. He's not appearing offline. I'm pretty sure he's on the EA forums. And immediately during kickoff, he IP boots me. He, uh, I don't even get to the kickoff. He IP boots me right from the kickoff, and I get my second loss in all men ultimate team. Both of which have come against IP booters now, just like that, where I join the game and I get screwed out of a win. And they're also screwing all of you guys out there with their uh, reward packs that they're pulling. Because they pull reward packs by winning the Super Bowls, and they pull the elite cards, throw them out the auction house, flood the economy, and just ruin the mode as well as dominating the leaderboards. So if you see an obvious IP booter out there with, I mean, they're pretty easy to tell. By the way, I'm not an IP booter, either Dark Alpha. I'm not an IP booter, guys. I've shown you my videos. I'm not an IP booter. Don't report me. Uh, I'm just really, really, really good. Don't report me. I'm not cheating. Uh, I actually win with skill. So thanks a lot for not reporting me. But these reward packs are pretty nice. It's really great that I can play games this year and, may, and make cards from it because I love playing packs and I love playing games. And now I can finally play games instead of, you know, grinding the seasons or playing the auction house or stuff like that. I can play the games now. And if I'm really, really good, I can make a profit from it. For all you guys out there in the early going, if it's still August, September, Carlos Dunlap is fantastic for you guys. Yes, he's 82 speed, so he's fast. He can drop into those light blue zones to the side pretty quickly. He's also got really good pass rushing moves, so check him out if you're looking for that and he's your chemistry. But by the time it's like, if you're watching this in October or later, he's probably better cards out there. Make sure to check the budget guide on Evo for those cheap players. And here we go. Elite card. You can pull elites from these, you guys. You can pull elites from these pro packs. I have pulled another elite or not pro packs, during these reward packs. I pull another elite later in this video. Don't go anywhere. But look at this. He's a beast. He's a machine. I almost wish I ran man defense so that way I could use him. But I don't because man defense is horrible this year. I've, I've been a man heavy player pretty much since Madden. I ever got Madden. I've always run man defense because it's just so much more reli reliable. You know what you guys are doing. It's easy to game plan the user when you know what your guys are going to do. And you don't know if they're going to take the under zone or the over zone. But you can't do it this year because zones his manage is broken. It just doesn't work. I mean, I can if somebody's running man even against me, I don't get a second down. It's just too easy to break. It works against the average player. So if you want, just want to beat the average players out there, man defense is effective. But against the super elite great players, like I usually end up playing for you know my luck. I have to use zone because man just simply doesn't work. So. I mean, if you guys want to see the defense that I use, I'm probably not going to do a specific playbook slash money play because I feel like those just, they don't teach you guys. I really want to help you guys improve your game. So let me know if you, look at this, Tim Jennings. I won't use him because he's five foot eight, but he's really good in the slot because nobody goes deep down the sidelines against the slot receiver. They usually do those uh, sideline posts as well as stuff like that. 
so he's really good at covering that because he's fast and he can, he's very agile as well as he's if you so if you're running that chemistry go ahead and check him out but let me know in the comments what type of defensive video you'd like to see cover two cover three i might do a formation like a four three or a three four or a one five five which is actually very good this year so let me know what you guys want to see in the comments uh, as well but you know that, i mean i don't really run a lot of complicated stuff i just execute very well if you guys can see what I do in the future as I progress up to Season 8, or not, how I progress my team out from there, as well as more fantasy advice, make sure to hit that subscribe button. i got great content coming almost every single day. If you haven't joined us on Evo, the number one site, biggest and the best, thousands of users, all dedicated to helping you improve your team completely free. We're doing everything we can to help bring your Madden Ultimate team to you know, the next level. And I love it to death. Can't say enough about it, so come join us. All right, you guys, that's it for me right now. This is Dark Alpha. Thanks for watching.